Training day is tonight. As you see, I took my crochet hair out. Um, I decided to not cut my hair. I don't think I told y'all, but I was gonna cut my hair back to my brush cut, but I decided not to because I came so far with my hair. If you see that hole, they have not fixed it yet. I don't know what's going on with them, but whatever. About to go out. I bought a lace front wig and I'm stressing about it because I don't know if it looks natural and I'm really like stressing. Y'all, I'm stressing. But I gotta go out with my friends because the upper class moved back in today. So everybody's on campus. My twin is not on campus yet. She comes back on Sunday, but that's neither here nor there. Tonight is training day. Training day is basically training day is basically for all the organizations. Like perform and show off the different things, like the Greeks come, um, different like dance organizations, modeling troops. It's a big event. And freshmen don't really understand like what it is. I'm like, y'all got to go. Like, training day is a must. Like, everybody goes to training day. Like, everybody gets cute for training day. And another thing about it, I gotta wear my shirt from my Eagle Experts. And I wanna wear heels because I'm trying to pop out. Like, I haven't popped out all summer. I have to pop out. But my heels don't match because my shirt is maroon and gray. My shirt is like a wooden material, wooden color brown tan with like a red a deep red so i don't know what i'm gonna do i might just kick it my hot top conference on and beat my face but i'm just really upset because i really want to wear heels so i'm really trying to get in the hang of wearing heels more but my face looks really ashy i'm gonna get I'm trying to get back used to the water because i'm telling y'all when when you go to a different place you get to use that water like it really does you have to get back used to the used to that but i don't know how long this video is going to be um but i'm really trying to make sure i pull out content for y'all because i'm still trying to get look at my nails like, what the i'm trying to get in a hang of everything but i might as well go out with some friends because my baby's back my baby shay shay's back and we all gotta hang out i'm in eye my coat my core already like one of my closest friends let go out um, she has death duty, so she can't even go tonight, but I gotta go. But I'm just talking, my room looks a mess, like, it looks a mess. <sighs> I already got my life together, but I just have to get my life together, y'all, but I'm out here looking like a grandma. I don't know what to do. What's going on, so I'm really trying to make sure I don't, I get in my head a lot about things I wear, like, it can look cute to everybody else, but to me, I feel like I look hideous. So it's like I really am battling my mind right now with my outfit and my hair because I'm not cutting my hair, so I gotta find a particular style. My hair is cornrow under here. Um, yeah, so I just gotta get my life together, y'all. So I'm gonna try my best to remember to record tonight. Um, but I'm gonna be, yeah. But yes. Okay, so a little tutorial looking ghetto so it's the first day of classes i've already had two my last was at three I'm trying out this new hair. I, don't, I know you can see the lace, it's whatever. But this is my outfit. I have on white high top converses, but my feet is hurting. I don't know where everybody's at. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't really film that much about during the weekend. I just, I think. I'm gonna try to film a little bit more for you guys. Um, this week, you guys are going to because I don't know where everybody's at. Everybody's looking for me, but I don't know where they're at. But we're going to have more of that. I'm still trying to like, adjust in my hair. Like, 
never this is a lace front wig she got it from beauty supply store but i'm really trying to like everybody was like oh my god this is your bald head and i'm like it's not that's not what i'm doing it's not what i'm on right now i'm doing something a little different so i'm just trying to you know adjust to it you know style it you know give it a chance but i don't really know like it's okay i just i got a little big head so having a big head with some straight hair that's not really the move but i mean hey we're gonna do it anyways like don't know unless you do it but yeah my finger over it okay but yeah that's it for right now that class at three it is now like 11 it's 11 something so that's gonna be interesting i always have my classes back to back to back so now that i have like a big space a big gap it's like ugh, what i'm gonna do for my time being but yeah i'll see y'all soon though bye so i have two classes today and i'm on my way there i hope it goes by fast because i'm tired i just finished my classes for today they were back to back um in my major i'm a social work major well social work student and my minor is in child development and family relations um so i already took my prerequisites um in the spring of last semester um and I know I say I'm a lot, y'all. Just bear with me. I'm working on it. In two classes, um, I have finally got out of University College, which is University College is basically um, when you're a freshman or sophomore or transfer, I think. Um, it kind of takes you, that's where you take your um, prerequisites and general ed courses. They basically help you um, with your journey coming in. And then after you make the number of credit hours I I you something. then you'll move into um your major your department so i finally got moved i found out who my advisor was i met with her she's actually one of my teachers one of my professors so she's really cool she's an older lady but she's very very sweet um and she like looked at my my whole curriculum and i've taken a lot of classes because this is my <laughs> third time i've changed my major so i was a nursing major freshman year then i changed psychology in September my freshman year so I came in as a nursing major changed in September um to psychology and then January of this year I changed to social work so she um is basically like I'm on track because y'all was very very nervous that I was not gonna be able to graduate in May of 2019 because I didn't know I just didn't know but she told me I was like well I better graduate she was like yes like you might not even have to take summer classes if you don't want to you're fine like I'm pretty much on track and I'm just very excited because I want to graduate on time like even though you kind of can do this at your own pace in college like I really just want to finish on time that's a personal goal for myself I'm sorry I'm walking around it's hard for me to stay stand tall but it's a personal goal for myself so I'm really excited that she told me that and be honest like spring semester is usually a hard semester for me i don't know why like i'll excel fall semester and then spring semester comes and i don't know i don't know i don't know i don't know so i know this i'm saying like that is not gonna happen anymore <laughs> y'all my hair looks so just oily but that's not an option like there is no more room for error it's my junior year and i want to do a lot of things and I will not let a GPA get in my way. I have a, I have a over a 3.0 GPA, but I know the type of student I am now, the type of student, the potential that I have, and the grades I know I should be making. So that's it's always room for improvement. I'm not looking to be perfect, but I know I can do a lot better. And that's what I'm trying to really learn is self-discipline this year um, and not procrastinating and not doubting myself. Because a lot of times I'll doubt myself. And of course, you're going with a negative mindset. Most of the time, your result is going to be negative. So that's something I'm working on. I just want to check in with you all. I'm Like I said, I'm still trying to get into this blogging thing. It's very awkward for me because I am a little shy. And I'm an introvert a little bit. Even though people don't, will kind of say no to that, but I am. Um, So me kind of having my camera in public is like talking to the camera is like, okay, hey, it's a little weird. But I try. I may not be able to take you along or like show you when I'm walking in the building, but I can always do like a recap after my classes or after an event or something like that. And now, like I said, I'm still working on it. I'll try to do better on that. Um, yeah, but I'm feeling pretty good now. My Monday, my Monday, Wednesday, and Friday classes. I'm just like okay, because they're mostly like um. One of them I'm really excited about. So many mastery courses will be eight weeks. It's, it's basically an introduction. It's basically a um, technical writing course. 
well basically i would learn how to write grant proposals um and basically how to write um certain things for my major and my profession so um or like we're gonna work on resumes and portfolios so it's gonna be i think it's gonna be a lot of things to help me especially for as my junior year that would be great and then i'm in social problems i don't really know i actually forgot that i had that class so i thought my schedule was i was looking at my tuesday thursday schedule um on monday so i was like i got a one o'clock class i got out at 9 50. i'm like oh crap i definitely have a 10 o'clock so i had to rush over there um since like he's gonna be i don't really know how to feel about him i haven't really i'm gonna give a, a few more days to kind of fill him out my biology class i'm just like i'm trying to think positive but she already got us at she already made us get in groups i'm like we don't even know each other yet and it's a big auditorium full of us so i don't really know how to feel about that because i hadn't even had the time to really see or meet people to know what their work ethic is or will we be a good match so it's just kind of i got pushed into something and i don't really like that but it's a simple biology course for non-major for non-biology major so we're just going to see how that works out i mean there is no room for mediocrity so i have to keep saying that there is no room for mediocrity like not at all so that's really much it i just want to like give y'all you know a little check-in tell you how i'm doing tell you what's going on um i don't really know how i feel about my hair it's like i like it but straight hair it's i don't know it's okay i mean my biggest thing is just i just don't feel like doing my natural hair um but it's really growing y'all it's growing but it just okay and i need a feeling so the hair could get caught in my nail and it's hot and uh, but i like it. it's a different look for me i'm all about i'm i'm i always change my hair that's one thing i i love doing my i love doing different hairstyles but when you on a college budget and you know you ain't really thinking that much you got to kind of work with what you have um so yeah i probably buy maybe a curly wig maybe, maybe my next my, my next big investment or my own thing about it why i can't get braids is because the back of my hair is it was i had a fade when i had my brush cut so like a light caesar cut oh my guys you know that is girls it's basically like we're dark at the top and it's like a fade so it's like a boosie not a boosie fade but kind of like a boosie fade if you know who boosie is um but the bag is growing like let me see if i can show y'all i don't even care if you look a little ghetto let me show so the back is dang i can't show hold on the back is like growing it's getting there you see but that's still not enough to grip like it's growing it's, it has a lot of progress but it's still um it's not enough to grip or if you do if you can't if a if someone that braids can grip it it won't hold for a long time it'll probably start slipping very soon so i don't want to spend that much spend money spend money on hair and you know service and it doesn't it doesn't last so i'm gonna be very pissed but that's pretty much it so i check in with you all and let you know what's going on um yeah bye y'all so I'm on the way to class. I think I'm gonna be a little late. But I'm gonna make it in time. It's okay. So we are here at Chicken Wednesday, but it doesn't seem that packed like it usually should be. It's the first Chicken Wednesday. It's for my vlog. You know I do this. Shayla, I've been doing it all week. Thank you very much. I've been doing it all week. Asshole. I'm trying to record. I'm trying to be famous. <laughs> Down with my classes today. Um, I'm probably going to end the video right here because I don't really have that much interesting things to show y'all today. But make sure you comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. Um, and I'll see y'all soon.